I'm reviewing a six page PDF here inside of Acrobat and going for a bit of a scroll, everything looks nice. And I'm noticing that pages one and two look like they are part of a spread. In other words, the left and the right pages of a single design. So if I wish to see those pages side by side, I can go up to the view menu, page display, and choose one of these two options just here. So this allows me to see two pages side by side. And let's go with the option that allows me to also scroll as well. So two page scrolling. And sure enough, we've got our two pages showing up left and right of each other, but we still have this problem where the first and the second page aren't actually next to each other. The way we can fix that is by going back to the same menu. So view, page display. And we are looking at this option just here, show cover page in two page view. So if I turn that off, there we go, fantastic. It's fixed the problem. So I'll just jump back into that menu option again there, guys. You essentially read this option as, does my document have a single standalone page? If it does, turn that option on. If your pages one and two should be sitting next to each other and you don't have that cover page, turn that option off like we are currently seeing just now. So this is all great, but there are times when you might want to actually permanently glue pages one and two together, pages three and four together. So for example, if we go up to the view menu and we go down to full screen mode, you'll notice that this is showing pages one at a time. So in other words, pages one and two are being displayed separately. I'll just press escape to jump out of there. I'm going to jump into InDesign, which is the program I use to create this PDF. So here inside of my pages panel inside of InDesign, there's my pages one and two. So you can see they are indeed separate pages. And guys, you want to be creating this document with separate pages. And generally you will export these out as separate pages, especially if you're sending something up for professional printing. However, if in a special situation like this, you need to permanently glue those pages together, go up to your file, Adobe PDF presets, or however you wish to generate a PDF, doesn't matter which one I choose, I'll just choose press quality for this example. And again, 99 times out of 100, you will export things out as pages. But if you wish to glue pages together, change that to spreads. Now I'm just going to cancel out of there and jump back into Acrobat because I've already done that ahead of time. That's what this document is just here. So visually it looks almost identical to what we saw a moment ago, but pages one and two have been glued together. And you can even see that over here in the page thumbnail section. So there's page one, there's page two, and there's page three. So what was a six page document is now a three page document with those two pages being glued together. So that's it guys, hope that helps.